Hello boys and girls, welcome to this video. It is FCECE writing. It is the planning phase of the exam. Now, before you actually watch this, I suggest you also watch my video on getting prepared for the CAE and FCE writing. It's very important. So once you've seen that, watch this. This is a fantastic um, method which I've created over the years that I have been teaching. So much so, that so many students in the past have sort of congratulated me on this because it really helped them achieve good marks uh, in their written parts of the FCE or CAE exam, which is very nice for me to know, so it does work. Um, it's difficult, it is difficult, it's something you need to practice again and again and again to get it right. Uh, you will not master this literally after two or three essays, you need to write at least 20 or 30 and you may need to make sure that when you go into the exam you follow this structure so strictly because boys and girls a big cause of not doing well in these exams is that people go in they sit down they're nervous and they create some brand new method they haven't practiced and things go wrong but that's not going to happen with us let's have a look you get into the exam you've basically been shitting yourself all morning uh, shitting yourself has stopped now we're going to get down to it. The most important thing that you have in your head when you sit down and open that exam paper, before you even start, know your essay. You should have prepared so much. Your brain should have been leaking out of your ears. You need to know the exact time of your essay, the time needed for planning. You need to know the structure of all the different essays because you don't know which ones you're going to get in part two, for example. You need to know all the do's and don'ts uh, of the essays and please refer to my previous video for those, but I'll mention them again in a minute. And the most important thing, know your English. You cannot go into the exam without having prepared. Learn phrases by heart, learn some nice collocations, really practice your passive, your inversion, throw it in and really impress those examiners in Cambridge when they read your essays. So basically we've got that and the next thing is the planning stage. The very first thing you need to do, so you open your exam paper, you read the question, and you've got your scrap piece of paper. The very first thing that you do, brainstorm. My friends, I cannot write anything, even in English, without brainstorming some ideas first. So you've got the exam question, and it's like maybe write an essay about the best person in your family for an award and why they deserve it, what they've done. Just write down any crap, it doesn't matter. Brainstorm anything, write down a couple of ideas. Maybe you'll use them, maybe you will not. It doesn't matter. Get something down. There is nothing worse than when I see students in my classroom when we're practicing essays and they spend five minutes going, um, what do I really think? What do I really think about this? It doesn't matter. Write any crap down and you can change it. That should take about two or three minutes. After you've brainstormed, you're going to structure the essay because we need to have a structure because we're marked on it. So we can have paragraphs, we're going to put our ideas into paragraphs and I'll show you that in a second. That should take you about two minutes and that's being very, very pessimistic. It should take you about 30 seconds. It doesn't take long. Again, if you practiced enough, it should be easy. The third part, which is the interesting part, and I've written it in blue, I don't know why, is write your rough essay. What you are doing, you're writing down all the key words and all these nice structures and callocations that you know. You're also writing down all these discourse markers like however, furthermore, on top of that, in addition, besides, because you're marked on that. You're not going to necessarily write every word uh, as an essay. You're going to write your mainly key words, but what I don't want to see, I've seen this so many times. When students plan an essay, they say introduction, Say what essay is about, main topic, write about the ideas, conclusion, sum up, it's like, oh God, well done. Like, that's not going to help you at all. You're going to have to basically write the essay from scratch uh, with very little time left anyway, and we don't want that. So you're going to basically write a rough essay. I'll also show you how to do this. Now this part four, which everybody forgets to do. Okay, you've got about five minutes left of your planning time, because so far we've taken 20 minutes for all of this, and this five minutes brings us to about 25 minutes. You need to make your essay sexy. 
What I mean by this is because you're like writing like your papers on fire because you're writing so fast, you probably haven't noticed that you've repeated the word problem five times. Maybe you've used some very basic grammar in your introduction. Maybe uh, you've noticed that you've left out some articles. This is that time when you can check your English, you read through what you've done, you check it, you improve it. That can be the difference between a band four and a band five, getting an A or getting a B. It is important that you do this, but many people do not. Now, you've done that, your hand's almost broken, and this is just essay number one, because you've got two to do, if you remember. Your hand's almost broken, and then you've got 15 minutes left to copy your essay to the exam paper. Once you've done that, you can breathe a sigh of relief, and go to essay number two. Good luck. Now, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to show you how to do these individual steps. This video will be a long one, but it's going to make a difference to your result if you follow it. Let's do it. So here we are. I have taken an essay question from an FCE trainer. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's FCE, CAE, the principle is the same. Let's have a look. Your English teacher has asked you to write a report on shopping in your area. You should explain which are the most popular shops or shopping centres in your area, say why you think they are popular, and suggest other kinds of shops that should open there. Before I even brainstorm, I'm going to do one important thing that you need to do as well. Watch. Are the most popular shops or shopping centres? Say why you think they are popular, and suggest other kinds of shops that should open there. Basically, I have underlined in a very weak green pen, three points that I need to answer in my essay. I need to say what are the most popular shopping centres, why I think they're popular, and suggest other shops. Remember, and I said this in my previous video, if you're my student, if you miss one of those points, I will fail you because the task is incomplete. You need to make sure by underlining that, brainstorming planning, that we answer those points. Now comes the brainstorm. I just pick up a red pen because it's a bit better. Now, You've got about two minutes to brainstorm, so we've read the task, just write down any crap. It doesn't matter yet, okay? So let's have a think about the most popular shops or shopping centres near where I live. Okay, let's say Ikea, um, let's say there's like a food uh, store, let's say a uh, pet shop. We all like cats and dogs or whatever animals you prefer to eat. Now, Ikea is famous or is popular because, let's say, good, oh, a word has just come to my mind. Let's say, competitive, it's, sorry if you can't read my writing, uh, it's because it's like brainstorming. Competitive prices, uh, variety, okay. Food store, let's say, um, We've got that variety, wide range of choice. So automatically, I have found a connection between Ikea and the food store. So if I finish that paragraph, I can immediately say, in addition, and move into that paragraph, I'm already given some sort of flow to my essay. It's gonna sound good already. I'm getting very excited. Now, food store, wide range of choice. Uh, great customer service, let's have that, like great uh, customer service, uh, maybe one more thing, what else can a food shop have, um, dum -dum 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 -dum. oh, let's say um, rare items, okay, I'll write that here, so, because I'll stand in the way, rare items, pet shop, what can be good about a pet shop, maybe, Food for your cat and dog. I, I can't think of anything, but write something down. Okay, food for pets. Let's say good food. Let's say good products. Okay, now it says here, suggest other kind of shops that should open. Let's suggest like two shops. This will be in the recommendations part of the report. So I don't know if on the camera you can see below, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to write it here, okay? So I'll put recommendations. I'll do two shops, okay? Because I don't want to do too much. Okay, let's say hobby store, because we don't see many hobby stores. And let's say a shop that sells honey. 
honey shop because it's medicine hobby shop because people uh, don't uh, such products aren't available in others unavailable products and also make sure that when you brainstorm you can read your own writing because sometimes I can't now have you noticed that in my brainstorm I just haven't written down IKEA food store pet shop I have already answered that point why because in your speaking exam and especially your written exam you must say why you need to give a reason and you need to expand it we are going to expand this in the third section when we basically write it okay so let's keep that I'm gonna go and take a picture of it on my phone so I don't forget what I've just written let's go to the next section okay now this is the next part in the planning phase of the FCE or CAE essay now what I've done, I've written at the top report just to remind myself what essay it is. I should automatically know the do's and the don'ts of the essay, exactly what I need to put into each paragraph, what the exam requires of me to do. I've also written down the word limits because it's very important, it's there for a reason, and I'll explain how we'll work with that in a few seconds. I've also written down the word formal just to remind me that I need formal English. So let's avoid phrasal verbs or you know, let's have instead some nice passives, maybe some really nice modal verb structures or even conditionals maybe, okay? What I've done next, as you can see here, I've written down on my board and you'll have like a big A4 size piece of paper. You'll even maybe go on two sides. Leave big spaces between these points because you're gonna write a lot. What I've done, there is an intro, paragraph one, paragraph two, recommendations or in other essays, paragraph three, and conclusion. Like I said, leave a big space between those so you've got like space to write all your notes. What I've done here, I've taken the word limit and I've split it down into parts. The introduction is not big, 20 words. Conclusion, 20 words. Paragraph one, paragraph two, paragraph three, or recommendations, 50 words, approximately. If I go over or under, it doesn't matter so much. But the idea is I want to write approximately to like 180 to 200 words for my essay. What I've done, I've also put my ideas into their respective paragraphs. So here I put IKEA with this. I decided to put grocery store and pet shop together in this, because I want to say more about IKEA, because I can really use some nice vocabulary there. I put hobby shop and honey shop with my recommendations. Notice I haven't touched conclusion or introduction yet, because as I had in the very first part of this video, you could see main part, introduction, conclusion, or main part, conclusion, introduction. Do the big part first. Because remember, that's what takes your kind of creativity. Once you've got that, the conclusion introduction should come very easily to you because you know what you're gonna write. Now, the next thing we have to do is part four, if I remember correctly. We need to basically write an essay now. So what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna do it for all of it. I'm gonna do it for some parts and then uh, I'm going to show you what I've done, okay? So I'm just gonna write a few notes and I'll be back in a second. Here we are in this part. Now what I've done, I've just sort of taken the introduction and the first paragraph because I haven't got time to do the entire essay with you, but I want to show you the basic points. Now what I have done, I've taken the introduction and the first paragraph. So this one is about Ikea. And I started with this and assume I did the others, I left the introduction to last. And actually I did the introduction after I had done paragraph one. Now, I'm gonna read my introduction to you, okay? This report is to outline the most popular shops in my local area and to make recommendations for shops that might be needed. St statistics, I wrote stats, were collected by interviewing local shoppers. Now the introduction is usually quite easy for people to write in an FCE or CE report because you sort of learn particular structures by heart. Um, it's very, very simple like that. The difficult part is this, because you've got to use your imagination, your creativity. But what I've done for this paragraph, I put, is widely known, so I've left out the word Ikea, so I'm not writing all the words, it's just the first things that come to my mind, okay? So I've got my expanded ideas that I had in my brainstorming. I've taken those, but I've got to expand them. So I've just written anything. Now, if you have been practicing a lot, you'll already write down some good English and some good ideas. If you haven't practiced or you struggle, this is how this video would really help you. So if you're very good at writing essays, congratulations. If you don't need to plan, you're amazing. I haven't met such people yet. Now this one says, blah, 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 IKEA is widely known, 
Okay, so ooh, nice passive to start off that paragraph. Remember, it's formal. So already the examiner's starting to rub their chest in excitement. So IKEA is widely known, um, or, or it, sorry, it is widely known, so I just made a mistake myself. It is widely known that the most popular shop is IKEA. It sells uh, like SW, having written full words, Swedish furniture, which matches your style, but match your style, so a nice collocation, throw it in. Um, offers competitive prices, which is good for poor people. I can't think of a nice word for poor people at the moment, so I'll write it, I'll change it in a minute. IKEA also has fun shop layout, which is good for kids and makes people buy stuff. I mean, that's really informal, really basic, that sentence. But I like it, but I need to improve it. So if you, if you transfer that to your final essay, big mistake. There is a restaurant if you are hungry, or you can even take the food away. IKEA has something for everyone. I mean, that, it starts off okay, but it gets a bit basic towards the end. So my consistency isn't great. I need to change it. But the last part, IKEA has something for everyone. It's nice to finish that paragraph with a little mm. Now, imagine I've just done that for the other paragraphs. Like you're writing 15 minutes. I, I just wrote the first stuff that came to my head. Or well, first things, so even my English is bad. The first things that came to my head. Do not worry. Again, the more essays you practice, you know, the better the English you will put here and you won't need to change so much. That's the key to getting an A. Now, I'm gonna show you the last stage. So again, imagine we've got the entire essay. I have to spend five minutes on making it sexy. So I have to improve it. Now, just to show you some points from this. This report was to outline the most popular. Okay, I've got popular here and I've got popular here. I've repeated it twice. And also it says in the task about the most popular shops in your area. And remember, we shouldn't really be repeating words from the task. But popular is quite a specific word. I mean, I've got here, it is widely known that the most popular, maybe I'll keep popular here just one time, but I might change popular to the most, is it maybe visited, the most visited shop? Because we would have the same idea, I suppose. I mean, no one's going there to complain all the time. So let's change that to visited, okay? It is widely known that the most visited shop is Ikea, okay? It sells, we'll do the introduction after, it sells Swedish furniture, which matches your style. Offers competitive prices, which is good for poor people. That's too much like a list, but I've got a fantastic idea. Let's really add some glamour to this. In a formal way, let's use inversion, okay? Because um, a lot of my students kind of get really excited when we use inversion. Let's have, okay, not only does, like, Ikea, well, we've got Ikea at the end, so we need to put something else. Not only does it, use the pronoun, okay, because English is a forward and a for language. Not only does it match your style, but the, let's put in a really, I just had a word that came to my head. So instead of repeating Ikea or it, let's say, but the world renowned shop. World renowned means famous around the world. So not only does it sell furniture to match, let's say, not your style, but every taste, every shopper's taste. Okay, let's put that. Match every shopper's taste, but the world-renowned, uh, the world-renowned company, the world-renowned store. Okay, because we've got shop, shoppers. I don't want to have the similar word in the next line, but the world-renowned store, I'm showing my range of vocabulary. So again, not only does it ma match every shopper's taste, but the world-renowned store also offers competitive prices. Wow, that has gone from like, maybe like a band three to a band five. I'll read that again. It is widely known that the most visited shop, maybe in my local area, is Ikea. Or maybe I don't need to say in my local area, it's there, it's obvious. But this is the thought process that you go through very quickly as you check your essay. It is widely known that the most visited shop is Ikea. Not only does it match every shopper's taste, but the world-renowned store also offers competitive prices, which is, um, let's say, affordable, 
Yeah, fantastic. Which is, because like good is like a really basic, it's good, it's really basic. Which is affordable, let's say affordable for, oh, let's not say for all people, but shoppers, instead of saying shoppers again, consumer. Maybe you know that word. So, which is affordable for every consumer. Or let's say, a wide range of consumers. I like that. But we had a wide range of somewhere else, I think. Okay, we'll leave it. Okay, which is affordable for all consumers. Okay. IKEA also has a fun shop layout. Okay, that's fine, I suppose. Um, but I don't like the word also because it's quite formal now. Also is quite basic. We had also in our inversion. So I might just change also to in addition and I'm going to put that at the beginning. In addition, IKEA has a fun shop layout which is enjoyable for children and makes, or maybe has a fun shop layout which makes the shopping experience enjoyable. That's fantastic. Which makes, so I'm gonna write it up with which makes the shopping experience enjoyable. Let's take that out, okay, I don't want it because my word limit's already getting a bit big. So, basically, I'm not gonna continue there, but do you see what I mean? That's what you need to do. So imagine if I stick with my introduction, okay, I'll read it to you now. This report is to outline the most popular shops in my local area and to make recommendations for stores, I'll change that to not repeat it, stores that might be needed. Statistics were collected by interviewing local shoppers. The introduction's fine, I like it. It was written by heart, I learned it as a chunk of language from another source, it's fine. It is widely known that the most visited shop is IKEA. Not only does it match every shopper's taste, but the world-renowned store offers competitive prices which is affordable to all consumers. In addition, IKEA has a fun shop layout which uh, makes a shopping experience enjoyable. Um, fine, okay, let's leave it like that, otherwise it'll take too long. That now is a band five. That is sexy English. And that's what you need to do. Now, like I just said, if you practice enough and you write many essays, you should be able to write something like this the first time in your planning phase. And this whole part five of correcting it and making it sexy, you should not be making that many corrections, but I'm just showing you the principle. Um, that comes down to practice, constant practice. Three months before your exam, you should be writing two essays a week minimum. Simple as that. And you need a teacher or someone um, with a high level of English to check it for you. But as you can see, I'm quite proud of that. And now that's something that you need to do. So just to remind you from this video, part one, brainstorm. Get your ideas down, two or three minutes. Always say why, give reasons. Part two, you write then down your, like your paragraphs with your word limits approximately. Part three, um, I think that's part three, part four, who cares. The next part is you just write down, you basically write an essay, okay? After you've classified your ideas, you basically write an essay. Uh, even my arm's tired after writing this. So you're basically writing an essay with more than just one or two words. You need to write a lot. And then you're gonna spend the last five minutes to glamorize it. Always make sure you're paying attention to the time. Make sure, because if you haven't finished planning, say for FCE, after 25 minutes, even CAE, 25 minutes, you haven't finished, stop and start writing your essay. You can't hand in a plan. You need to give an essay. So that's why you need to practice. You need to practice this constantly under a time limit. All right? You've made it sexy. You've done that for your two essays. You've handed your essay in. Your arm's broken. Thankfully, you've got another one. You get your exam results in six weeks. You get uh, A and you come to me and you kiss my feet. Hope that was useful. Please subscribe and please like my videos. See you later.